a uniform ladder of 4 meter length rest against a wall with which it makes an angle 45 degree as shown in the figure the coefficient of friction between the ladder and wall is 0.4 and that between the ladder and floor is um, 0.5 if the man whose weight is one half of that of the ladder ascends it how high will he and the ladder slips okay so here you are given a ladder whose length is 4 meter so the length of the ladder is 4 meter and uh, regarding the angle it makes an angle 45 degree as shown in the figure so <coughs> it rests against a vertical wall uh, with which it makes an angle 45 degree that means the angle between the vertical wall and uh, the ladder is given as 45 degree now the coefficient of friction between the ladder and wall that is mu w mu w is given as 0 0.4 and that between the ladder and floor that is mu f is given as 0 0.5 now if the man whose weight is one half of the ladder uh, that of the ladder that means weight of the man is half of that of the ladder that means if uh, weight of the ladder is capital w then weight of man will be capital w by 2 so uh, he is ascending then uh, at how uh, how high will he when the ladder slips so at the time of equilibrium what is the position of the man so we will see the figure so this is the ladder it is at an angle 45 with the vertical uh, the total length is 2 meter so this is the middle point capital C where the weight is assumed to be concentrated and point D is the position of the person he is at a distance x from the bottom point that is B now we will see the free body diagram so this is the free body diagram here you know that the point A is moving downwards so the friction will be in the opposite direction B is moving towards the right so the friction will be in the opposite direction since mu f is 0 0.5 uh, the friction is 0 0.5 into nf and here mu w is uh, 0.4 so the friction here is 0 0.4 into nw so this is the free body diagram and we made the constructions like this as uh, we have done in the earlier problems and give uh, the names c dash d dash now we have to find the value of bd dash bc dash bo and ao so <clears throat> first of all from triangle aob from uh, triangle aob that is aob AO by AB equal to cos 45 so which implies AB we know AB is the length of the ladder so it is 4 meter so AO equal to A equal to that 4 cos 45 okay which is equal to 2.82 2.8284 meter now from the uh, same triangle we can find the value for bo that is bo by ab is bo by ab bo by ab is opposite side by adjacent side sorry uh, hypotenuse that is sin 30 sorry sorry sin 45 which implies bo equal to ab into sin 45 that is 4 into sin 45 which is equal to 2.82 itself now uh, from the triangle b 
c dash c b c dash c we have to find the value for b c dash right so b c dash is the opposite side and here you can see this is also 45 degree so sin 45 is b c dash by b c dash by b c b c is half of the uh, length of the ladder that is 2 meter right this is sin 45 which implies b c dash equal to 2 into sin 45 which is equal to 1.4142 meter now for getting uh, bd dash we consider this triangle that is triangle b d dash b there b d dash by bd equal to uh, sin 45 Here also it is 45 degree, so opposite side by uh, hypotenuse, which implies what is BD? BD is x, so this distance is x. So x into sin 45, x into sin 45. Now, now we will see the equilibrium equations. That is, first of all, sigma f x equal to zero implies x equal to zero implies yes, n w minus zero point five n f equal to zero. That is equation number one. Then sigma f y equal to zero implies point four n w plus n f minus w minus w by two equal to zero. Or on simplifying zero point four n w plus n f. Minus three by two w equal to zero. This is equation number two. Now we will consider the moment at B indicate to zero. That is sigma m about the point B equal to zero in place. First of all, these forces forces uh, n f and point five n f passes through the point B. So the Moment of these forces are zero. Then W by two, considering the force W by two, that is W by two into B D dash. That is W by two into B D dash. This is counterclockwise, therefore negative. Now due to W, that is. W into perpendicular distance that is B C dash, and this is counterclockwise, so it is also minus. Then due to point four N W, point four N W into perpendicular distance is B O. Therefore, point four into N W that is the force, and the perpendicular distance O B. This is creating a clockwise moment. Therefore, it is positive. Then last one is N W, which is at a perpendicular distance O A. So N W into O A, and this is creating a clockwise moment. Therefore, plus this is equal to zero, which implies. So after substituting the values for B D dash, B C dash. Uh, o B O A etc. Uh, 
we will see the relation as W uh, W in the and on simplifying we will get like this 0 0.3536 x plus 1.4142 equal to 3.9598 nw okay and this is equation number 3 okay now from the equation now we have got three equations that is nw minus 0.5 nf equal to 0 one relation and the second relation is, is connecting between nw nf and w like this and third relation is here so on solving 1 2 and 3 we will get the values so we will see how we can solve it so from equation number 1 we use another color okay so, from 1, from equation number 1, we can write like this, that is nf equal to 2nw, right, from this equation. So, and uh, you can substitute in equation number 2. equation number 2 and we will get that 0 0.4 nw plus 2 nw minus 3 by 2 w equal to 0 or 2.4 nw minus 1.5 w equal to 0 or <coughs> one point five W equal to two point four N W. This is equation number four. Now we can divide equation number three and four, like three divided by four, and we can write W in the zero point 3536 plus 1.4142 divided by 1.5 w equal to 3.9598 nw by 2.4 nw so that we can cancel out the terms x uh, sorry nw and w and we will get a singular equation and from there you will get the value for x as x equal to 2 point uh, 2.9 nine 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 seven or approximately equal to three meters so this is the answer